In this video we'll look at further ways to adjust your drawers. Please note some of the changes we're going to look at now won't be possible if you're using drawers with internal assembly elements. So let's click on the inner volume, go to the quick design toolbar and in assembly take out all the inner drawer elements. Click OK and let's put in three drawers. I'm going to go straight to the multiple drawer section of the properties menu and click on this button with three dots. So here we can modify all the drawers at once. First of all, let's add an extra drawer. With the plus button, we can take them out as well with this delete button here. So we're going to go down to the divisions section. Each division refers to the join between two drawers. I'm going to add a slack of 10 millimeters. And we can see that effect on every drawer division. Let's put an orientation in of five degrees as well to give us a slight slant in our design. You can add hardware through the fitting link option and edging. There are two edging options now. The first one relates to the edge of the top drawer. The second one relates to the edge of the bottom drawer in each division. Let's go straight on to the curve section and add a front curve. Incidentally, all these curves can be found in the curves library and you can add your own if you wish. We can invert and turn around that curve if you want to, but for now, I want to go into this individualized divisions parameters option. Click here. Now we've got even finer control. We can now adjust independently each division. I'm just going to change the distance. The distance from the top is how the parameter works. I'm going to change this one to 850 millimeters and we can see that just that division has moved. And in the same way you can now edit just for that division all the parameters you could before. Let's click OK to see the results. And we're going to make one final change. We go into the properties menu for draw three. I'm going to change the material to EGA 0191. So with that element of the properties menu, we can change just a single draw front as well. So you can see that with these extra design options, you have lots of creativity at your fingertips. And just a reminder again, we're editing just the draw facades here. For obvious reasons, the inner draw elements can't be adjusted like this. They would need to be set up separately in Polyboard. Thanks very much for watching. Goodbye.